Fourth yourself. place, we have Connecticut's own Zoo and Chapel, uh, who have been really lighting up the crowd with such incredibly aggressive play. They're deciding to go with the projectile block uh, perk here because they're going to be going up against Courage and Zage. The best as the best Velma, the best play we've seen in terms of not letting people get them on edge guards. Let's see how this works here. Starting off the round immediately with that buff, getting that 12 gray health. And uh, now you got to deal with the fact that both Chavo and Zoo are already on top of you. Yeah, literally, this is the aggressive play that we were talking about in the uh, in the past set they played in, right? Zoo and Chavo just trying to get in their breakthrough. They already got him in the corner for a second. That could have been devastating, but they still have him in the disadvantage to so get the double spike. Zage, if he's not going to die, he's at least taking a lot of damage in the process. That's so still a very fantastic lead for Orange Team. Jeez, that, yeah, that was an insane circumstance right there. They were not able to close it out on the right side, but like you said before, they got nearly enough damage, and I'm seeing someone get jammed in that smoke grenade. I don't know what's happening there. I just see a whole lot of fire, man. They need to relax, kind of separate themselves in the situation. You see the armor coming in there from the blue side. Stage and coverage have been so good at that, but now they're still trying to fight out, out of the right side. That armor was not enough, and down goes Courage. And pretty soon, we'll go down Velma as well if they can't stop this pressure but here comes zoo right back in making sure he avoids the megaphone and then the gem toss up that's well how chavo consistently gets back on the stage without being challenged but they're gonna end up taking him out off the up air and not gonna get hit by the gang up that could have taken out chavo right there literally just doing a fantastic job of just surviving unfortunate fall coming out from courage not sure what actually happened there on the right side of the screen but here we go back in the middle that people are just dying left and right we're just seeing hitboxes go out here in the middle of the stage we got ourselves an even game right now two points apiece see the backpack coming out oh no zage in a bad position really high up there expending a lot of the resources has to hold the right side to get back to center stage Yep, absolutely, and Zage gonna sit in there, understand that they're at a really high percent, but again, fighting out of the corner so damn well, per usual, gonna sit back, you see the chase, Zoo wants to get that skill immediately, but of course, Courage is right behind Zage, making sure that they're gonna be safe and sound. But luckily for Zoo, recognizing immediately that Chavo is not going to be able to get away from that car, so they broke it right away. Nothing bad happened, but the charge up special is not going to connect to be able to take out the Taz. Everybody pretty much suffering, except for Zoo, but even then, you got to watch out for that up air. Zoo trying to go in and get the reverse hit of the battering to get an uppercut. That's one. Here comes Chavo sneaking in right through, and that's two. And that is Zoo and Chavo getting the first game. I like the hypothetical high five at the end. It's, there wasn't anything hypothetical about it, bro. He was high-fiving his man yeah, over there. Because that was such shit. a fantastic ending, right? Just get the uppercut Continue. off to the top and the kill off to the side as well. Fantastic stuff coming out from Zoo and Chavo here. Orange team putting a point on the board on the scoreboard. And the thing is, if they manage to take two more games here, guys, literally their next set is a revenge grudge match. So you know they're hungry for it. You know they want to get that run back against Mirror Man and Rose J. Oh, I mean, 100%, man, 100%. They, they want to make sure that they're in the right place to take that dub because those guys were able to dominate them so effectively. Like, it was absolutely insane. Unfortunate fall that we saw there earlier on. I mean, but one of the big things I want to call it, man, as we're looking kind of, we're in this top four now and really recognizing the, the caliber of play, I think it's safe to say, Ajax, that uh, Batman is a solid now in doubles once again. All right. I mean, I, I, you can you can say what you want, but I, I think he's looking pretty good. Yeah, I think like, he's right. I'm looking kind of good, man. There's literally two of them in top yeah, four, Ajax. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. No, 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 no. We're not going to lie anymore. Bruce Wayne is in the business. Let me speak. Let me speak. Okay, look, they are kind of nice with it. But why'd you get hit by the jump read? I mean, like, why are you oh there in the first place? Bro? I like, can't stand never this man, there. dude. Like, mobility is good. They're, they're just okay. good players, bro. They're just oh, up there okay. with you yeah. the okay. whole time. Yeah. Like, okay. I, don't, I don't know what yeah. you're yeah. talking about, yep. bro. Like, if, no, yeah. just, yeah. if you yeah. just watch, yeah. that, that wasn't even a true combo. That was just a read, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. No, of course, Ajax. Look, you break battering, he can't do anything. Oh, no, no, yeah, he can't do anything. No, he can't do anything at all. He can't get kills with the uppercut. Not at all. He's not killing with uppercut. If anything, it's a skill issue, bro. All right, so we're going to get into the, the second game. Zoo and Chavo, of course, up a game right now. What do you think uh, Zage and Courage are going to do to adjust? Because let's be real, every other time, they have adjusted. Yeah. Literally, yeah, I think the adjustment is they got to play a better character like Batman. You know what I'm saying, bro? 
<laughs> uh, no, no, I don't actually. Uh, you should only uh, play Batman if you're really a big fan of Batman and you want to work really hard, you know. But right now, we're looking at how Velma is out here zoning yep. and playing very well from afar and confirming with her teammate, almost getting a combo off of that up special from Finn to get that uppercut in disguise. Love wow. that almost conversion from Zage, bro. He was out there at the right place at the right time trying to get the follow-up on the uppercut or sort of the uh the backpack coming out from Chavo, dude. Yeah. Okay, you see the pressure on the side. The bomb's about to go off there. And yep, there's a pop down. Gonna go for Dare. Oh, but you're gonna hit right back aside. And now Courage and Zage gonna be set up shop. Yep, get the armor. Locked in. Here we come. Oh, he was hiding in that smoke. He was not trying to catch any of those moves. We got the uh, dog pile a little bit too far away. No aggression coming out. Get the downer to up air. Classic from Zage. Gonna put both Chavo and Zoo at a pretty high damage here. Let's see what's gonna be happening. Gets caught by the Taz Nato. We got Zoo just trying to survive. Throws out the battering. Gets the conversion off of that, by the way. But the word bubble coming in as a support. Oh, no. Living up to a man. Oh no, Chavo just falling with his gold. Wait, wait, wait. There's for days. Oh, hey, that was a good rebuttal by Zoo going off stage to try and get those after losing those stocks. But even then, Zage and Courage. The word bubble knockout for one off the top of stage for one thing, but Zage once again continues to make some of the best adjustments after game one that we've ever seen. Like, Zage refuses to go down without figuring it out. It's actually been incredibly impressive all tournament. Yeah, I think Zage has the big, the best adaptability that we've seen for, from anyone, really. This has been super is the broad point, of course, obviously. That goes with us in that Courage is just right in there, too. Great coverage, giving the time there and making sure to set up shop because so they can get buffed and right back to you. We're looking at it. We're going to get the top. Hey, hey, hey. hey, hey. hey. All right, double hey, it up, man. Hey, hey, hey. did you see uh, who did it win that game? Uh, that's all I'm saying. But, all right, Shut so, up, man. <laughs> I don't want to hear this. Like, let's hey, just but, <laughs> hey. Look here, okay, so one of the things that Zage did extremely well was uh, sep uh, getting better separation off of the pressure that Finn would try to do to line up combos for Chavo. There was one, uh, excuse me, for uh, Zoo. There was one time where they almost had the up special and the uppercut, and that was a very good lineup on both. But things like that, always making sure to cover your teammate from afar takes away the advantage state that they had. And then this situation off stage happened. The, 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 the stock loss from from uh, Chavo in the midst of all that, mm -hmm. really helped get them in a better spot. And then between the Tasty debuff and the Damn. cop car, you really couldn't do much about getting away from that. Yo, Sage was speaking sure. worse to him. You know, <laughs> he was just stuck in that NATO and just like, ah, ah, ah. Yo, <laughs> yo, gee, yeah, that was a heart to heart. I was all right, my, man. My Speak homie was saying, <laughs> I said, hey, we need to talk. Like, yep. no, no, toodles. We don't, yep. <laughs> we don't need to talk. We don't need to talk, please. Wow. <laughs> you know, oh. I did. I literally didn't know until yesterday that Velma's word bubble after it hits the teammate says toodles. That like that yeah. I don't know why that just cracks me up because it's like she knows that it's gonna kill them. Like so it's oh, like, yeah. toodles. <laughs> Bye. See you later. Bye. Yep. It's so good. It's so damn good, man. Uh, the, the personality with this character, it's mm -hmm. insane. Oh, 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 uh oh, uh oh. Batcave was left open. Um, also, uh, besides Batcave being left open, I'm curious to see if Zoo and Chavo decide to go back to the projectile block perk. I think that's what they're debating on right now because it didn't really do much to fix it last time. They are going to stick with it. They're going to go fire debuff, permanent triple jump, and uh, the projectile block Prepare just because yourself. if you could just take away at least one of those hits or one of the belch apples from happening, that's going to allow you to get in. This is a double rushdown comp, so you're going to need that to be able to break through uh, what is... A pseudo double zoner cup with a tornado so it's uh it, it's it's been working well it definitely worked a lot better in that second game but a stock is probably gonna disappear in about 10 seconds here on back game yep we'll see it starting off man getting something they ain't popping man yeah well, i mean that, it's gonna happen you get these wall combos ready to go unfortunately javos is gonna be able to delete that car which honestly might be for the best because velma gets a lot of mileage off of just chilling up there because she gets a vantage point to be able to shoot off your uh projectile but also yep. has nato coming in look at all this damage bro dude i love nato because nato honestly outside of it just like getting a kill early it's a perfect tool for velma to come in and like we talked about man get the cotton 8k man combos man getting the up air the dare it does so much damage especially when you're stuck in that nato and i think that's one of the biggest things that makes these guys really make some things work we're seeing it right here that you are gone and now the police are out here 
too. Yeah, you, like, you see how Chavo's holding on to the gem so he can mix up his recovery when he has to go back in? Because they're waiting for it, but it actually worked out. The gem toss led into a dare on the side of Zoo. He was able to get some damage on. Now they just need to get one straight uppercut or that downer, but that downer just missed. After being set back in, Taz would have been absolutely obliterated by that. I love Zoo challenging the dog pile, by the way, with the Batarang, using a projectile to try to just end that immediately without, like, trying to, like, risk anything, because it's so difficult to actually space that out, because it's such a big hitbox, and you'll get caught, so good awareness coming out from him. Zoo sees an opportunity to try to go after Zayd, but the Velma gets another uppercut for Blue Team here, and meanwhile, Zayd's dying off the top, people are just dying left and right here, two points apiece, almost gets caught by the up air, Zayd trying to, sorry, Zoo trying to hang in there, 85. Off stage, battle ring. He can't get off. The tornado's there as well. Manages to interrupt it. Chavo coming in to try to get the assist. A punish afterwards. Manages to get the uppercut. Tries to guess that he's going to go to the left. Taz dying to the right. The fact that they even walked away with that first bam is insane. Like, all of that was in favor of the, the blue team for a good while. They just went out on one mistake where Courage went off stage. Yeah, man, that was a rough one. And you know what? The one thing I haven't seen all too much there from Courage, but I started to see a little bit here and there, is Courage is looking sometimes to get that bite. Of course, bite is actually really good against Batarang, but it's going to happen a little bit too late. You're going to get that four piece, and man, these guys are gone. Yeah, right after that up special. Uh, you, oh, okay. I think I'll see what happened there. So the, Zage tried to double jump into that and get some damage on, and that got caught by the up special prior to that. Then after the dodge came in, didn't have any specials left or tried to go for that wall touch at the end, but I actually got the wall touch at the very bottom, but it was so close that just slid down into the blast zone before they could actually start to jump back up. Yeah, when you grab onto that wall, you get all six of your resources back, but it doesn't matter if you're just going to kind of slide because look at this, Zage touches it and then is on the wall. There is an opportunity to go for the jump, but I guess maybe there's a little bit of a frame delay, like a little bit of delay after Bad grabbing news. it. Yeah, honestly, I get sad too watching that, man. That was actually very unfortunate for them because literally it was because their only reason that happened was because they Zage jumped. used all the resources. Yeah, they used all the resources to play aggressively they wanted to go for something but again you're using your resources aggressively you don't have them defensively anymore so you put yourself at risk when you do that yep a whole lot of what happened to change up in that game was after after both uh zoo and child were getting some decent damage on early and then losing the lead to zage and uh courage off of the incredible da dare to up b combo uh, the dare to up air combos and that zoo kind of just went off just started swinging as yep. much as possible in center. And because they were so focused on how uh, Chapo's stage presence, because he was also at, uh, constantly approaching from the bottom, they got hit by a lot of dive kicks, a lot of dares, and a lot of gems like that right there. That's what helped steal that away, was Chapo sneaking in through the smoke with that gem toss and stealing that stock. Yeah, I mean, that gem is going to be just a very powerful tool overall, right? I mean, of course, you already know the teleport. Just even have a tool like that in your, in your arsenal, that means at any point in time, you can just come in. And I, honestly, that's kind of one of the beauties that you see for Finn and Batman, respectively. Batarang, obviously, is not going to get him a teleport, but it's going to be a great in, right? Whether you get it on the initial hit or when it comes on its return. And then that in tandem with Jim, it really allows them to sit back when need be and immediately go into the fray. And I think that's really about what how this team actually is able to continue pressure in tandem with their movement, right? To able to mix it up. So it's hard, especially when you're dealing with them on Batcave. I mean, guys, if you're watching the stream and you're playing at all right now, but I mean, by now you should recognize this stage probably is not the best place to take these guys. They've been bodying everyone here all day long, right? So, you know, got kind of focus in on that because this team is high octane and they love to be in those scramble situations. They thrive off it and they've been making it work for them day in and day out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm curious. Um, like uh, yeah. like one of the, one of the things that has been working well for others in counterpicking Austin is we usually see them go afterwards to these flat stages and it'll be close. But usually, like, we see, like, Mirror Man and Roger Day were able to win out here, too, going to Sky Arena with no platforms. I'm curious to see how it's going out, but what do you think is the logic behind Zay? Oh, obviously, the, the removing the car was one thing, but everybody was with platforms. I didn't see those with platforms. So what do you think the logic is behind Zage and Courage? Is it going to be that same holding up against the wall like previous times? Or do they just want different routes to try and hopefully land away from these combo strings? 
I think it's to get away from them, in all honesty. I think it's literally just that you have a bigger stage compared to, like, Batcave, but also having those platforms to be able to jump on to just try to, like, give you more chances to land down onto the platforms to regain your resources. Like, it just it allows them to play a little bit more of an evasive game against these people who are going oh, so no. hard. Fantastic pickup from Zage, knowing that that Tazino was going to send him in that correct trajectory, had the downer ready to go and gets the first point on the board. I feel like the right side of a stage is just, like, a rope, like... What 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 is it called when they uh when they like rodeo the bulls? Rodeo the bulls? Yeah, when like like pull, they pull the bulls. I I cannot remember what it's called. But they literally just keep dragging people towards. Yeehaw! Like, what? No. Okay. No, so anyways, not that. The, 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 yeah, the, I don't know what that is. Somebody in chat, please help like... me, because I'm very lost. <laughs> but uh, like okay. it's uh it's uh, basically they keep baiting people to like go towards them, like waving that red flag to get them to come towards yeah, them. Yeah, the luchadors. The luchadors? Yeah, they're, yeah, they're matadors. There know. we go. Somebody said it. Matadors. That's the word. The matadors. There you go. I could not, for the life of me, remember I don't know what that was called. <laughs> but bro, you said the yeehaw. Like what? <laughs> I don't know, man. Right I was just trying to piece something <laughs> together, bro. I didn't know. Right, anyways, it. yeah, enough of that. Dude. <laughs> All right. Well, that part's over. But basically, they just kept baiting. They keep baiting people to go to one side, and they just keep getting baited uh, like they keep getting punished for it but right now uh both zoo and chavo have been able to change that up but even with that ice right there let that rock don't go near that that will put on so many ice stacks so quickly yeah now we're seeing 148 here on chavo off stage this could be dangerous gets caught by the downer up there just as i call it gonna be able to come in We've got the cops coming back in chavo has been arrested Already taken, actually no damage out of it. The car got broken just in time. Zoo sitting over here, middle stage, looking for a potential opening. They actually went for that move, like full screen, and end up working. Look at the damage! Oh, that was absolutely insane, and Zoo's gonna have to be careful here. Sitting at 122, he's gonna sit there a little bit, put the smoke grenade down, and now in, in the cloud, man, gonna fight out, just rolling out. I love when they sit there inside the cloud and then go for like a lot of these uh, dodge cancels, right? on the ground to make sure they can just dash right through and start a combo just like that. Really phenomenal stuff here. Let's see if Courage and Dage can fight out of this corner. Yes, they can, and potentially get them on the left side. There's one start. Yep, absolutely. And looking for another two. Got to be careful here. Get the teleport. Yep, drop zone. You already know it. Absolutely. Goodbye. See you later. That's the tech, baby. You get that Taz. You get the Taznado going. You fast fall the crap out of that. You drop zone down. What do you do against an edge guard like that? Because you want to go for the wall. Look at this. Chavo's on the stage. He can't get away. Like, literally, the only thing he could have done was dash to the right to avoid it. But then it becomes a mix-up game. Is Courage going to go down on the wall? Or is he going to try to chase that dash on the right? So, so there is one thing you can do if you're at the same uh, if you're at the same points, right? If you're at the same points, if you actually drop all the way down to the bottom, the hit lag, and because of the momentum that Taz has, Taz will actually die before you no matter how, what percent you're at. If you're at the very, very end in that bottom bubble. However, obviously we saw Kurz and Zage already had way more points before. So it was a checkmate situation because they could afford to lose a point there. But it's something that I've like, me and the shouts to TLTC were able to figure out. So that is something you can do if you are in a, you know, at a match point on both sides. Yep, and just even before that, uh, Chavo tried to interrupt that first tornado by running up and using the charged up attack where he walked through, but the hit was too late and the damage was already done. Plus, mm -hmm. Zoo was at like 154, so even if he got away from that, the likelihood that stock disappeared soon was very high. Uh, once again, the adaptation coming in on the side of Zage and Courage, that has been the story of them so far. They're, they're, they constantly make adjustments like that but the next match almost makes the other team like look like kind of silly like it's like how did you get here in the first place but then answering right back in that same regard chavo and two have also did uh done that quite a bit to people because as soon as they have lost the game like this they speed run the next three stocks so i'm very curious with counter pick advantage where this last stage is going to be i think if they don't get access to Batcave, cave we probably see trophy's edge just because you have access to those platforms uh and a little bit more room to work with i think that that smaller range actually played more into uh C courage and zage's favor because it was easier to find those tornado mix-ups and easier to send them off stage like we just saw 
A stage that I could think about they could potentially pick, but after thinking a little bit longer about it, maybe not, was Tree Fort, just because it's like a smaller stage, like there's less room to run around, but you know, very high ceilings, and they're getting most of their kills off the top anyways, just with the uh, with Batman's uppercut, obviously. So I don't foresee them going there. But you know what stage we haven't seen all weekend, guys? You already know what stage it is. Where's Scooby-Doo's mansion at? Where's that haunted mansion at? I haven't seen it all weekend, man. Where is it? I want to see I, I it. Can you, I can tell you right now, there's they, they are not going anywhere. No way. way. There's no I, way. I, I know, there's but like, there's, 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 there's no a no, I want to no see world. it, though. Yeah, can I see no it? World. Is it no. okay? If, oh, no. Okay. It's not. No, it's no, not. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm, okay. I'm, I apologize. I'm, I'm going to keep it a buck. I understand people are getting better on those kind of stages. But at the end of the day, when you have stages that actually have those, like, those gaps... In a world where everyone's happy and everyone wants to fight, yes, that's going to work. You're going to have I all your fight. strategies and all these things. But guess what, Osti? You're not everyone. And sometimes you're going to find people who just want to win and they don't give a damn if you want to fight. <laughs> and so but they're going to sit wanna... there on but, sitting the edge where but, they get their win but, condition. But, but, and I'm going to sit over here where I get my win condition. But, but, and guess what? You get a stalemate every single time so no one wants to play on the stage. I'm sorry. That's just how the real world works. We can't live in hypotheticals, Osti. We're, we're playing. To, this, is, this is serious business. People are playing for their tournament lives. I just want to win my way, Bam. I just want to win the way I want to play. What's so wrong with that? You know what? There is nothing wrong, because guess what? They have a lovely place for you who do that. Oh, yeah, I love that. Yeah, zoom in on that. Zoom no, why are you doing it like this, Devin? Oh, my God. That, that, roll your eyes, and oh, that's that face. So sad, all right? Can, 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 Devin, could you please send me that clip, this entire clip, to me what? and no. get a gift? Like, Devin, I, I, can you I, please delete the VOD? Like, I need that. <laughs> I need that. Also, we are, in fact, going to go to Trophy's Edge. This is where I anticipated them going if Batcave wasn't allowed. Because this is a primary counter pick for the two. Easy to get a lot of room separated. Easy to get some resets off of those platforms. But also, enough room to reset neutral without having to worry too much about Task Tornado. True. Okay, here That's we awesome. go, man. I, I, I was, like, lost for a bit, dude. I Never just had to, like, re... I'm back, we're recuperating, we're here in game five, by the way, of loser semis. That's like really important here. Winner is gonna be moving on to losers finals to try to get another shot against uh, Mirror Man. But so let's see how this is gonna go, as well as Rose J. But here we go, jumping right into this. Both, yep. all four players, it's kind of pretty even so far, Ajax, don't you think? Yeah, it's actually doing pretty well, but the charge version of the op special catching him slipping on the way up, and the dare coming in from Zoo is gonna change that extremely fast. Oh bro, man, these he guys got that, are playing. He got that dash read, bro. He knew he was gonna dash upwards, get that downer, spike him into the blast zone. You know that thing was coming. You know, he holds that thing on him. Zoo sitting up there at 115. Just two more stocks to be able to take home this set. Gets a second uppercut on top of that. I thought for maybe a moment he was gonna try to risk a third one. See, good damage there. He's in the side, and wow, my goodness, Chavo is moving. They're trying to get him on the top. I love that defense coming in from Courage. Gonna try to shark their landing. Yep, gonna catch them. Just what he needed. Get another one that's a down and up. See you later. Wait a minute. Good cancel there on the momentum, but still you're gonna get hit with that damage. And this time around, it is not going to work. The damage has been done quite a bit though to Courage. So if they can seal the deal on this right now, that'll give them a much better chance. Meanwhile, they're trying to double up over on the side of Zage, who was able to get back on. Zage has been incredible at getting off of the uh, out of those situations. Zage properly putting in the ice deep up on the ground so you can't run up on maybe a roll uppercut. But Zoo ever looming. Chavo finds the mark, but instead it's actually no, instead it's gonna be Zoo. One stock left to get them that rematch against Mirror Mad and Rose in Lucis Finals. They're so oh, close to it, man. He's got him at 80 damage. You see Zoo on the hunt against Zage. Wants to find that kill. Wants to collect the bounty, man. Look uh -huh. at him. Looking for the chase here. Gets the uppercut. Has him off stage. Yep. Goes for the oh. second one. Gets the air dash jump. Gets up there. Your winners here. Zoo and Ch uh, Chavo moving on into losers finals. Putting on a show. Ajax, I know you're ecstatic. I know you're ecstatic, I couldn't bro. even hold it back. I definitely yelled yes. My boys out here putting in that work with the team comp that is very unique. And again, 
Credit where credit's due. I am extremely impressed with what Courage and Zanes were able to do. It has been phenomenal, but watching Zoo and Shavo come in here, overwhelming people time and time again with this game, uh, with the gameplay, and we, previously, we've seen a lot of where Zoo's the one that's been going off and going ham and getting things started, but Shavo with these constant gem throws, with these constant up specials, with this pressure that he's been coming in off of these teleports, helped them get back into the game, and that helped line up those knockouts that Zoo needed with those uppercuts, because there was too many things to pay attention to you couldn't be comfortable with zoo over there on the left hand side and then zoo goes up there seals the deal and that guarantees a top three finish in the justice league yeah man i'm so uh, all right, all right that, that's that's gone yeah, that's I, over I, now no. i'm gonna go back to being a professional oh we're back okay cool <laughs> Happy i wanted to, to make here. sure yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, man. Uh, no, hey, man. Man. there's yeah. still more matches to play too but it's oh, yeah. uh like it's still just incredibly impressed uh, time and time again. Um, I, I, I know I'm going to sound pretty biased on this, but we're going to do everything we can to make Connecticut one of the strongest regions in the world. And we're going to be led by these two uh, like uh, being out there. So I'm super...